And one of the business people that I traveled with when we're waiting to catch our next flight from Istanbul to London, there's a young man called Kagabo. He's somewhere here. His company is called Soft Group. He told me that, he was telling me how his business is doing. And he told me that of his two businesses, one of them is, um, he makes tissue. Maybe we call it toilet paper. And then he also makes straws, you know, straws for soft drinks. I asked him of the two businesses, which one is doing better and which one is growing faster and, and giving him more income. And he told me that the straws business is growing very fast and making more money for him. Now, I think we all agree that straws compared to tissue or toilet paper is a luxury, right? Drinking soft drinks or sodas is not a necessity like tissue. Now, if that business is growing very fast, I think it says something about the spending power of Rwandans, right? I think Rwandans are consuming and spending more than they've done before. That's why businesses such as the Strauss business that Kagawa was telling me about is growing. But let me also check if you know another thing about Rwanda. Did you know that it only takes six hours to adjust a business in Rwanda? Did you know that? And did you know that there are only seven countries that do better than Rwanda in the whole world in how easy it is to start a business? And did you also know that you can register business online? You don't have to go to Rwanda. Now, it's not just registering a business that you can do online. In fact, for our friends who are here, who are not Rwandan, and I saw some very many friends from Nigeria and other countries, did you know that if you want to travel to Rwanda to check what business you can do or to even visit as a tourist, that you don't need to get a visa before you come to Rwanda? You only need to show up at the airport or at the border with an African passport and you will be given a visa, an entry visa anywhere to enter Rwanda at the port of entry. You don't have to travel anywhere to get a visa before coming to Rwanda if you are an African. That's for our friends from Africa. Now, it's not only good for Rwandans and for Africans. Even our friends who are not Rwandans and who are not Africans, if you need to apply for a visa, did you know that you can do it online? That you don't have to travel to an embassy to apply for a visa? Did you know that? Now, that's Rwanda. I think that the progress that we've seen, as the minister explained, whether it's high economic growth rate of more than 8%, or whether it's how easy it is to do business, we are ranked number three in, the, in, the, in, the, in, the, in Africa. But it's not just that, it's not just the quantitative, even the qualitative. The minister did talk about a Gallup study where Rwanda was ranked in the world, the second country where a girl feels safe to walk alone at night. Now, it's also, it's not just that. The World Economic Forum also ranked Rwanda the second most welcoming country in the East and Southern Africa. Second most welcoming. Now, with all of this, I think Rwanda, the Rwandan economy is very open to businesses. And I want to encourage Rwandans living abroad, or even our friends who are here, to take advantage of all the economic environment and the business environment that is there and that has made it very easy to do businesses. Now, I won't go into very specific areas where we see opportunities that can be taken advantage of, but I'll just summarize them in two areas. We have opportunities that are in the services sector. Now, that includes real estate, and I think the first investment that a Rwandan living abroad probably is interested in or can do is buying a house in Rwanda. Now, we have an exhibition upstairs. If you haven't seen it already, we have specific projects. We have Ujenge, that is a real estate company. We have the Rwanda Social Security Board. 
We have BRD, among others, that are actually specifying places that you can buy house, a house or real estate. But of course, there is other services like tourism, financial services, among others. The second category of where we see opportunities is to add value on those sectors that we already have resources in. And of course, agriculture is one of them. And the other are basic manufacturing. And I see the business people in Rwanda who have already taken advantage of that. I talked about Soft Group, but I see Clever, who is uh, from another company that does uh, tissue and detergents, among others. And there are many companies that have already seen light manufacturing and are doing very well in that, and I must encourage you to look at that as well. But also mining. So I won't go into very many specifics, but we have the services industry, a lot of opportunities there, financial services, real estate, tourism, construction, among others. And then we have adding value to what we have, like in agriculture, in mining, and in light manufacturing. So I'll stop there for now, and I hope we can interact after this. Thank you.